In the first episode of The Crown, Fact or Fiction, the male's royal experts debunk invented details in the latest series of the hit Netflix show about the royal family, which is to feature Diana's death in 1997. Male writer Robert Hardman and the Mail on Sunday's royal correspondent Natasha Livingston unpick a plot centered on the 50th birthday of the future Queen Camilla. It portrays a lunch between Diana and then Prime Minister Tony Blair, as the Princess of Wales begins her post-royal life in July 1997, with Mr. Blair reporting back to Queen Elizabeth that Diana wants to have an official role for the palace as a divorced woman, and no longer an HRH. Diana is now learning the difference between being officially in the family and out, says the Queen, portrayed by Imelda Staunton. Hardman tells the podcast, clearly, that is very much retrofitting the story of Harry and Meghan into the story of Diana and Charles. We do know this lunch happened. I believe it was at the invitation of Cherie Blair, not Tony Blair's. In 2022, Prince Harry revealed in his Netflix documentary that he had initially asked for a half in, half out arrangement when negotiating the terms of his and Meghan's departure from royal life. He added that the royal family made it clear this was not an option. Hardman said that Alistair Campbell, Mr. Blair's former spin doctor, was a consultant on the series so could have advised on the former prime minister's side of the story. One of the most controversial moments of the Netflix series, which has been dogged by criticism of historical inaccuracy, is the portrayal of the car crash which killed Diana in Paris. Although it is not directly shown on screen, both the experts agree that, while shocking, it is not handled in poor taste. The first episode of The Crown's sixth series goes on to depict a row within the royal family about whether or not the Queen will attend the 50th birthday party of Charles's new partner, Camilla. It is an occasion Diana is also accused of upstaging by taking Princes William and Harry to Saint-Tropez, France, at the invitation of Harrod's owner Mohammed al fayed